Hello! Shalom to everyone! Our subject for today is about Art 6. We are in the second quarter. The topic, Arts, processes, elements, and principles still apply even with the use of technologies. And our objectives, reviews the concept that arts, processes, elements, and principles still apply even with the use of technologies. Art 6 elements, that's LLA. Our sub-objective, identify artworks with its elements and principles of art. So before we start, let's have first our pretest. Get one whole sheet of paper. Write your name and section and try to answer this. Do you have your paper with you? All right. Now, let's read your direction. Read the questions carefully and circle the letter of the correct answer. Number one. It is element of art made up of three properties. Hue, value, and intensity. Letter A. Color. B. Shape. C. Line. D. Form. Number 2. An element of art defined by a point moving in space. Letter A. Color. B. Shape. C. Line. D. Form. Number 3. An element of art that is two-dimensional, flat, or limited to height and width. A. Form. B line, C shape, D space. Number four, principles of art which combines elements to add a feeling of equilibrium. A, balance, B emphasis, C proportion, D unity. And last number, a way of combining elements to stress the differences between those elements. A. Balance, B. Emphasis, C. Proportion, D. Unity. Okay, now let's check your paper. Be honest, check your own paper. Okay, let's go to number one. An element of art that made up of three properties, hue, value, and intensity. Is it letter A. Color, B. Shape, C. Line, D. Form. What is your answer? Yes, it is color. Number two, an element of art defined by a point living, uh, moving in space. A color, B shape, C line, D form. What is your answer? Correct, it is line. Now let's go to number three. An element of art that is two-dimensional, flat or limited to height and width. A form, B line, C shape, D space. What is your answer? Correct, it is shape. Now, let's go to number four. Principles of art which combines elements to add a feeling of equilibrium. A balance, B emphasis, C proportion, D unity. What is your answer? Yes, it is balance. And last number five, a way of combining elements to stress the differences between those elements. A balance, B emphasis, C proportion, D unity. What is your answer? Correct, it is emphasis. Now let's review. What are the elements of art? Do you remember it? Yes, it is the color, the form, line, shape, space, texture, and the last one is value. And what are the principles of art? Correct, it is the balance, emphasis, movement, proportion, rhythm, unity, variety. So those are the principles of art. Now, let's analyze how these elements work in traditional and digital arts. When we say traditional, it is the old way of doing artworks. And then digital, of course, using the computer and other uh, modern technology in art. Okay, now, we are all, always 
thought about the color wheel. How the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, can create a secondary colors, which is green, violet, and orange. So those are the secondary color. When you when you combine red and yellow, the secondary color that will exist is the orange. When you combine blue and red, the color that will appear will be violet. And if you combine red and yellow, the red and yellow, the color that will exist will be the orange. Green if it is blue and yellow. Okay? Now, what are the analogy color? Which is the adjacent color and the complementary color, which is the opposite color in the color wheel. But do we really know the essence of the color wheel? How does it work in, a, in an artwork? So, this is the color wheel. Yellow, yellow or, or orange, yellow or yellow orange, the orange, the red, orange, the red, red, violet, violet, blue, violet, blue, blue, green, and green, and yellow, green. So, those are the colors of the color wheel now this is the traditional art which is uh, done using the oil pastel and this one is the digital arts okay using the computer now let's analyze the illustration look at the illustration i put the color wheel at the middle of the traditional artwork and digital artwork Okay, to show how the essence of color wheel in artworks. If we will examine these two artworks, the traditional artwork and the digital artwork, we will notice that the colors using inside this object apple are the analogous colors of red. Because the color of the apple is red. So, which is the color of the apple? To show the intensity of the quality of brightness. And the background color used is to the complementary color of apple, which is green. So, complementary color, the opposite color in the color wheel. So, the opposite color of Red is green. So, that is the complementary color. So, it is in the background. Okay? And then, in the, in the, inside the object or the apple, you, we use the red, red orange, 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 yellow, or yellow, orange, and the yellow. Okay? Here, the yellow, the orange, uh, the the orange yellow the orange and the red orange and the red and then here is the violet okay and then the the uh, red violet and the violet and also in the digital arts okay that's the essence of the color wheel artists usually complementary color use usually use the complementary object colors to stand out and see their subject well okay the complementary color is green okay so we have curved lines uh, let's talk about the lines so we use the curved lines here curved lines here okay so both traditional and uh, digital arts have the lines uh, use which is the curved lines okay because the shape of the apple is curved line okay how is value showed so this is part of the color that is bright and this is the part that is dark so this is bright this is dark this is bright this is dark okay so that's how the value showed and 
the how does the space showed this is the positive okay the positive area is the the subject area and your subject area and our subject area here is the apple this is the positive and the negative area is this background okay the negative area is the background now let's go about the texture how is texture so showed so in the traditional artwork uh, it looks like a rough rough texture while the digital looks like smooth in texture now let's analyze the next drawing or picture how principles works so this is the Taj Mahal in Agra, India. So this is the traditional arts which use the uh, oil pastel and this one is the digital arts. Okay? Now let's analyze. So when we talk about the balance principle in this drawing and pictures both traditional and digital arts they have a symmetrical type of balance or the design elements on the left this is the left okay of the image is mirrored the, the design elements of the right so uh, when we divide it the left is equal to the right Okay, the left is equal to the right. The elements of the left is equal to the elements of the right. Okay, so those are the balance. And the emphasis when we look at the drawing or picture, the first thing that we, we will notice is the building of Taj Mahal. Okay, because it is placed in the middle. And we will notice that its color is lighter. Look at the color. It is lighter than all the colors used like green and then blue. Okay? So, it is lighter. Now, in movement, when we talk about the movement principle, you will see that the one who take the picture... For example, I am the one who take the picture is far from the Taj Mahal. Okay? Because of the trees. You can see the trees. Okay? And the passages. This is the passages. Okay? Trees near is uh, looks bigger. Okay? The trees near looks bigger. While the trees far looks smaller. The facades, the passage that is uh, near, the space is uh, bigger or wider. Yan. And the passage uh, looks far, is narrow. There, it is narrow. So, that's how movement works. And when we talk about the proportion principle, the element is connected to each other. Like the color that complements to the one to one another. For example, the color of the sky is blue and the color of Taj Mahal is lighter color that gives emphasis to the tomb. Okay? The lines and shapes and all the elements of art were all connected to each other. Now, when we talk about the rhythm or the rhythm, which is another principle of art that indicates the repeated element like the trees. Okay? The trees. And the tower, this is the tower, it is repeated here. The tower is repeated here and also repeated there, okay? And also the roof, okay? And the windows, they are all repeated. The windows are all repeated, okay? And those 
curve below are all uh, uh, all repeated. The passage is also repeated. Okay? From left to right, they repeat it. So, that's how the rhythm works. Okay? Because of this, unity or oneness of the element was shown. Okay, and then the variety principle of arts, we can see the different variation when we examine of all the elements, the colors, the shapes, the lines, the values, the form, the space and textures were achieved, all of those, both in traditional and in the digital arts. So, we can see that... Uh, all the elements used in traditional can also be used in digital or in modern technology or in digital arts. Okay? Now, let's have our post-test. So, get one whole sheet of paper. Write your name and section. Okay? Do you have your paper with you? Now, let's have a direction. Read the questions carefully and circle the letter of the correct answer. So, number one, it is the element of art that is three-dimensional and is in closest volume. A, color, B, shape, C, line, D, form. Number two, it is element of art that shows the lightness or darkness of tones or colors. A, value, B, space, C texture, D form. Now let's go to number three. It is principle of art that combines the elements to stress the difference, the differences between those elements. A balance, B emphasis, C movement, D unity. Number four. Principle of art that indicates movement created by careful placement of repeated elements in a work of art. A. Rhythm B. Proportion C. Unity D. Variety Number 5. It is a principle of art that concerns with diversity or contrast. A. Rhythm B. Proportion C. Unity D. Variety now, if you are finished, uh, take a picture of your paper and then pass it in our GC. Okay, please click the like reaction and the subscribe button. Thank you.